This is what remains of a once interconnected slightly more than two mile wide island which was forested on high points on each end. Now, there are two distant islands separated by a section of the Pacific Ocean being both located on the rim of a more than one mile wide and 2,000 foot deep hole in the ground. This hole represents a volcanic caldera of the now largely submerged Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano with a caldera largely forming during the planet's largest explosive volcanic eruption since at least 1991 when Pinatubo erupted, with the most explosive phase of the eruption from Hunga Tonga occurring on January 15th of 2022. This caldera formed because so much volcanic rock and magma was ejected during the eruption from Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai's magma chamber that the rock overlying it collapsed downwards to fill the empty space. Thus, just like the volcanic islands of Santorini in Greece, Deception Island in Antarctica, or the Monk Islands in the Northern Mariana Islands, Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai has several island remnants due to a large caldera collapse related to a voluminous volcanic eruption. On a portion of one of the islands, there is interestingly an unusual green patch of rock which heavily contrasts with the surrounding andesitic lavas. This green-blue mineral is likely one of a number of possible copper minerals, which in my opinion is likely chrysocolla. For comparison, here is a similar piece of chrysocolla not collected at Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai. Copper minerals can form on volcanoes due to either hydrothermal alteration or deposition via fumaroles. Thus, the green patch likely once represented a corridor which volcanic gases of a fumarole took towards the surface of the island. Moving on, on the west-southwest island of Hunga Haapai, you can see the direction the blast emanated from due to the pattern of ash which radiates outwards from what is in this photo an off-screen point. Meanwhile, on the remnants of the Hunga Haapai island, you can find exposed layers of the volcano which represent an interesting pattern. It appears that explosive eruptions are almost always in geologic time followed up by more effusive eruptions at Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai. This could occur as different phases of the same eruption or two distant separate eruptions. Other videos show the distant remnants of pillow basalt lava which was likely in place during submarine volcanic eruptions. Thus, it can be inferred that the Hunga Haapai Island was uplifted at some point, exposing this material on the surface since it is largely a submarine volcanic feature. This uplift may have occurred due to the influx of magma into the volcano's magma chamber, slowly uplifting its entire edifice. Although the nature of Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai's January 15, 2022 eruption was somewhat unexpected, this did not mark the first large-scale eruption from this volcano. This is because sometime during the 1100s, a large volcanic eruption occurred at Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai, which perhaps formed or deepened an existing caldera. Remnants of at least one thick ashfall layer can be found on the island remnants, which notably has two layers to it. The upper portion represents an ashfall deposit, while the lower layer, which is thicker and low points, represents a pyroclastic flow deposit. As a final note, enjoy a video clip of waves crashing against the shoreline of the Hunga Haapai Island. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.